Good morning, friends. I am Patty Elhoff, the author of Upcycle with Decoupage. And today I'd like to take one of these plain IKEA lanterns and turn it into a pretty IKEA lantern. And I'm just showing you, I have a few different lights in here. These, I put a bunch of LED lights inside of a cup and I put it inside and here's how it looks at night with the LED lights in it. And I don't know if you see here on the bottom of the glass that frosted glass look. I'm going to tell you about a new product I'm very excited about. This has a larger candle in it and this has a smaller candle in it. So just so you can see the different ways that it looks, here's how it looks during the daylight. And I will tell you what we can do in order to get this started. I wanted to show you this little spot down here. This is where I put this new product that I found, the Crystal Gel by Viva Decor. It makes it look like there's ice on the surface, like it's frosted on this glass, and it's just a beautiful effect. So I'll show you that as we get into the video also. But for now, here's how we'll get started with this project. So you want to make sure the glass is clean on any lantern that you're working on. I am covering the front and the back with cutout pieces of this beautiful rice paper. And this is available from a website called DecoupageDesignsUSA.com. Thank you, Angie. This paper is beautiful. And I'm going to cut out an image for the front and an image for the back, but I'll also show you how I do the sides, which is just decoupaging the sheet of rice paper on there and how to get rid of the excess. Now, I do have items like these scissors. You really do need these small curved scissors if you're going to be doing any kind of decoupage. And when you're on my website, the link will be right below this video in the description. This Amazon, this website goes through Amazon. So if you've got Amazon Prime, all of the same features apply. However, I still try to get you free shipping whether you're an Amazon member or not. You just need to spend $35 or more, and that can be on anything. You don't just have to shop for my supplies when you're over there on Amazon. So, moving on to the next step. I cut out this image. Now, you can work on the inside of the glass. However, the rice paper, I didn't want it to look as glossy as the glass can make it look. So what I did was I cut this piece out, and I applied my decoupage glue, and I'm using the Viva Decor napkin decoupage glue. It worked perfectly for this. And you can go right over the image that you just placed down with your decoupage glue. This uh, rice paper tends to be very sturdy. So I'm going to cover this whole section with the decoupage glue. Now you see it overlaps on the sides there, that's fine. I also applied a little bit of the trim to the bottom here, and you just want to remove any of the excess decoupage glue there. Whoops. And then we're going to let this side dry, and I'm moving on to the sides now. This is the whole sheet of the rice paper. So I am, I'm only going to cut off the top part here. It's not exact yet. But I want to center this, this beautiful lilac image. I want to be right in the center. And I'm going to follow those same steps. And you'll see up there that there are some vent open areas right here where I'm still going to decoupage right over that. And I'm going to apply my decoupage glue over the whole surface. Then I'm going to place the rice paper down and while it's still tacky or damp, it's fine to go over it with the decoupage glue again, just to cement this down and make sure you get those edges. So I'm going to cover this whole side and I want to make sure that I put this aside to dry. I'm going to let the whole thing dry before I move on to the next step. On here's just a little tip for you. As you're doing decoupage projects, you don't want your brush to dry out, so I took a cloth, it was a rag, and made sure it was very damp, no chance of drying, 
and I stored the brush in there in between coats and then I just covered the little bit of decoupage glue with a piece of plastic so that nothing dried out or got clumpy. Now once everything is dry you can go around all of the edges with a nail file and just sand away any of this excess that you have off to the sides. And make sure you use a damp cloth to wipe away any of the dust that was created by sanding. Then we're just going to go over every piece of rice paper with another coat of decoupage glue. So wherever you have rice paper, apply the decoupage glue over it on all sides, put that aside to dry. And there's something else I wanted to mention. This rice paper is very sheer. If you wanted, you could paint the inside of the glass with a white paint, which would really make that rice paper pop. So you could really see that image. The reason I'm not doing that is because I am going to use this primarily at nighttime and I want this to remain as sheer as possible. If you paint the inside, you're going to have a little bit of trouble getting that soft glow. It's just going to mute it too much. So I'm going to put this aside to dry now. Now once this has dried, I am taking this phenomenal product called Crystal Gel. This is a product out of Germany. It's made by Viva Decor. Now I'm going to have the crystal gel on my website that has, uh, I believe it's got a little bit of glitter to it. This one does not have the glitter. Uh, I will try to find it on my website. If you can't, if I can't find this particular one on my website, I will uh, tell you that I have seen that some Walmarts sell this and some of the Joann stores do. And what I'm going to do is put it only on the glass pieces or I should say the glass pieces that are exposed I'm sorry I'm out of frame here I'm just using a sponge brush and I am dabbing this onto the glass and I'm doing it right on the front on the outside so it faces outwards and I'm going to do this right here and I'm going to put this aside to dry it's okay if you get this on the rice paper, by the way. It does take a little bit longer to dry because it's a thicker medium. And once everything is dry, I am going to take the top coat triple thick and apply it over the whole surface, even where I applied this medium, the crystal gel. If you feel more comfortable, you can use a spray top coat over this. You can also use a matte. If you're going to use the triple thick, which will be on my website, you do need to use a bristle brush. You can't use a sponge brush with this. And now that we're all done, I'd like to show you how this looks with some different lights in it. That's a little tiny votive in the bottom. Here's how it looks around the sides. And this is how it looks at night. This is exactly what I wanted. It is a nice, soft amber glow. And look at how that crystal gel looks. That is just amazing. I can't wait to do a video using that on a clear glass bottle. So again, here's how it looks with just one of those tiny votives in the bottom of it and just loving the effect of that crystal gel there. Isn't that just the coolest effect? And then here it is with one of those taller candles that has the flickering effect to it. I'll have a couple of those on my website too. And here, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I took some LED lights. These are a little too cool for my taste. You know what I mean, that cool bluish color rather than the amber hue. And I put those inside of a glass, inside, and here's how we look. The crystal gel is looking great again there, though, even with those cool blue lights in there. And here's how it looks in the daytime. Whoops, that's nighttime again. But here we are the following morning, which was just today. And sorry to sound like a broken record, but thank you so much for subscribing. It is what allows me to keep these videos coming out every single week. And I love hearing from you guys, love your comments, happy to answer your questions. It may take me three or four days to get back to you because there are a lot of questions and comments coming in, which is a good thing, thank you. I love hearing from you guys. 
And my website link is right below this video in the description of it, so you can head on over to Upcycle with Decoupage to get whatever you need. In the meantime, guys, thank you so much once again. I will see you next week with another video. Bye-bye.